Welcome back to Level Yourself. I'm one of your hosts, Jance, and I'm here with Liz. Hi, Liz. What's up? Hi, Jance. What's up? It's been a while. <laughs> yes. It's well, been it's a been minute. A while here on Level Yourself. I know you and I, we're always chatting, we're always talking, but it's, it's been a while here in Level Yourself, right? Yes. Um, it's been a while, and then I'm happy to be back on Level Yourself. I, too. I miss talking to the people <laughs> i guess i know i talk to you but like really like you know talking to people so i'm really glad that we were able to make this time um and it's interesting because i know you and i have been talking and one of the things that we wanted to talk to you know our followers and you and i and just have a conversation about you know how do we stay connected with our tribe during these difficult times you know it is it's some difficult times out there, Liz. <laughs> it was, it was, <laughs> it was tough, you know, starting last year, and it just, you know, it's been a couple of rocky months, a lot of uncertainty and everything. So it's pretty. It, I think it's been pretty tough for everybody. Um, mm-hmm. but I'm glad I I get I get to stay connected with you, Liz. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I think that everybody's kind of going through something different right now or feeling different than the, where they were a year ago or pre-COVID, so to speak. So the, what we really want to talk about is how do we keep our tribe or how do we keep our friends and family you know, connected during these different times? Yeah. I, I agree. And it's, it might, it might sound easy, but, you know, I, I feel like we're all going through our own situations and sometimes it's harder for, uh, you know, people, other people, or for like, just for us to really stay connected, depending on what's really happening with our lives and our families and everything. And sometimes you can get overwhelmed and and kind of like distance yourself without even noticing because sometimes you don't even notice when you're not engaged with your friends or family and it's just something that automatically happens so it's not like people people don't people might not notice it and it's not done intentionally because of life and everything that's happening currently right right Or some people are just like running, 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 and then they don't have a minute to even get in tune with their feelings or find out what's going on with family and friends because they're running so much. Um, I know for me, one of the things that we kind of chatted about was I try to do occasional like check-ins on people like text messages Mm -hmm. or I'm not a big phone call type person. So for me, it's like at least sending them a little WhatsApp message or text message, checking in on them, seeing how they're doing, if I'm thinking about them. Because sometimes we could be thinking about somebody like, oh, I wonder how such and such is doing. And then we just let the days, weeks, months, years, even years pass by. (laughs) And that's someone that you're cool with and you don't get in contact with them or see how they're doing. If God forbid something was to happen to them, you know, you're like, damn, I should have reached out. So that's something that I try to do. That's my thing is at least sending a little message. This way they know that I'm thinking about them and just checking in on them. That's something that's important to me. And I try to make sure that in the moment, even on my time difference, most of the time, it's like the Eastern time, my time difference is (laughs) off. But in the moment, I'll try my best to make sure I send them a little text message, like thinking about you or checking in on you. Hope you're okay. And, you know, at least they know that I'm thinking about them. That's crazy, Liz, because there's been times where, like, (laughs) I don't know if you feel it, but sometimes when it's like, when I need that text message from you, that text message comes in like from nowhere, and I'm like, "What the hell? Is this shit in my mind?" <laughs> so that's, that's so funny. But you see, it's funny because 
you I'm the type of person and again like we're all different right so I'm the type of person who tries my I try my very best to always try to stay connected to people I you know I would just like try to shoot a message or um I just I try very hard and to, to just stay connected to other people right but that's just that's just how I am and how I've managed to like to 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 mold myself on a daily basis or on a weekly basis right so that I I can I've managed to do that right but that's always been my personality or or just who I am just just because right I've had I've had the privilege to be able to have that time and to be able to like sit and shoot these little text messages or or reach out to people and stuff like that and not everybody has these little spurs of time or privileges to be able to do it because of life because we don't know what's happening with life we don't know what's happening on the other side of the phone or with that person right um so me being total transparent like I can be like, hey, why can I do this? I take my time to shoot a text message and I take my time to say, hey, what's up? How you doing? Hope all is well. And I don't get that reciprocate, you know, that that same thing. Or why people don't do that? Why are people not the same? Like if I can take a minute, um, why can't they take a minute? Right. But it's, you know, you reflect and talking to you (laughs) probably you could talk a little bit more about it but you reflect a little and you say wait I had have the time or the minute or you know the opportunity to do this but I don't know what that other person is going through that they might not have the time and it might not be anything towards me personally it's just I don't know what the other person is going through what's right. happening with the other person so it's it's kind of like Jans has to step back for a minute and reflect because right. not everybody's like Jans and what happens if one day Jans is in that situation where you know that could happen I'm not you know yeah I think um we were kind of chatting about the whole ego base and it's not about us in those situations. Mm -hmm. We're reaching out to the person because we care and we genuinely, um, you know, want to know how they're doing. But at the same time, just because they don't answer you doesn't mean that they don't care too. You know, they might be going through something that they're not ready to talk about. There could be multiple reasons why they may not answer you, may not participate in like a group um, text, you know, so it's really not, it's not about us. It's just the fact that you're giving not to receive, right? Mm -hmm. So you're giving that love and that energy because that's how you feel. So you're giving it yeah. Without without the expectation that you're gonna receive it back. Right. Mm-hmm. So you gotta fill up, fill up yourself with those good vibes and that energy without those expectations. Because if you don't get the messages back or you don't get your tribe mm-hmm. to stay connected back with you, then it shouldn't, it shouldn't hinder the positive vibes and the energy that you have going on, you know? You're doing yeah. it because you want to, because you're overflowing with those positive vibes. So you want to spread the love. How you doing? You know, hope all is well. Checking on you because you're you're feeling that way about these people. Um, but we shouldn't have the expectation that we're gonna get it back a hundred percent of the time. Sometimes we will, um, but sometimes people may not be in that space right now that they're they right. feel like talking, and that's okay. At least they know that yeah. you, you know, you're thinking about them and you're there. And I'm sure when they're ready to connect, they'll connect. You know, sometimes not everyone is ready at the time that you are. Right. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's and it's good to think about don't take it personally. Right. Because it, it's 
for the majority of the, the time, like the most of the time, it has nothing to do with you. Right. It's not. It's not about you. I mean, you, me, like for example, I'll reach out and that with a person again. You don't know what's happening in the other side, so it's like don't take it personally. It could be a thousand things um, that you might not you may not in the majority of time might not even have anything to do with it. So, right. That one thing that I noticed that you do, um, which is super cool is not my thing though, but you do it, um, which is good. It's like the group texting. Like I know you have like the fitness group texting and you do, I, I remember you telling me about the group texting with your family or your cousins, which is cool. Like that's the way that you keep, your tribe connected and keep everybody engaged. Um, So, which is a nice thing. Yeah, you find, try to find ways. (laughs) And then like, whenever I don't, someone in that group doesn't answer and I'm like, hey, you're you're okay. You know, it's important because it's, there's a, a, you can pick up on things. So I I feel like you can kind of pick up on things and just, you know, text, um, group text messages or something sometimes can be a little overwhelming too. So when you don't hear people on the other side, like respond in these groups, it's just sometimes it's okay to send a message on the side and be like, just want to make sure you're okay. Just because I haven't heard from you on the group and then, you know, get a little bit more insight from there. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yep. No, I agree. So, I mean, I think these, this is a very important conversation because, there's so much happening right now and there's a lot of different views um, on, you know, just what's happening with the world. No, we don't all agree on certain things. We don't all see things eye to eye and that's totally okay. Um, but there's so much happening that we need, I think we should always remember that the people and, and the personalities and the friends that we have and why we have them and, put those things aside because that's not what made you guys friends from the beginning or that's not what made your tribe from the beginning and it's important to learn how to separate a little bit um and you know and and be able to just put that aside and still reach out to people and and make sure they're okay um I think a text message is a great thing even like you said and I think that's important even if you don't get the same response or you don't get any response but a text message because you're doing it you're doing it from your heart like you said it's not something like a, you know it's not to get to for you to get something it's because you're in those feelings of giving okay or reaching right. out um so i think a text message is is good and <clears throat> and i thought it, it would be really cool if sometimes we can become very overwhelmed overwhelmed with, with everything that's happening right I mean, it'd be nice to take a few minutes and write a little postcard or something to people and send them out. And that's actually like an opportunity to also disconnect with the world and what's happening. And it could be like a little bit of a soothing meditation type of thing where you can put your love feelings or what you feel on paper and like send it out something that might take you a minute, but it's actually going to help you. and that other person that gets that postcard is going to feel extra special as well. And I, I'm yeah. so sorry, but you know, people have disconnected from calls from calling. Right. Yeah. You're right. Sometimes you just have to call and say, Hey, what's up? Just want to know if you're okay. I don't have much time. I know we're both on the go or leave a message, but a phone call can happen as well. We're all about text messages now. <laughs> you're right you're right (laughs) yes yeah Yeah. that's right um I think to with everything happening you know to try to help with getting into your feelings getting so stuck on your day-to-day routines and you know depression can kind of set in so Mm -hmm. making sure that you're at least trying to engage with people that you are close to or your loved ones trying to reach out. And if you're not making sure that you get it out some way, 
you know, so yeah. I don't know we have spoken spoken about journaling or writing things down, you know, maybe vlogging for yourself just so that you can see it and you're telling your feelings. But, you know, mm-hmm. trying to stay connected, if not with people or your loved ones, then making sure that you get it out for yourself to not slip into those moments of um, depression because again, there's a lot of different things going on right now. School just started, you know, Mm -hmm. kids are back into school too. For the parents, I have a lot of uh, friends and families that just, their kids just went away to college. So all Mm -hmm. of us are having like the same feelings of that anxiety (laughs) where kids are away, right? And then self-reflecting on ourselves, like, now what do I do? You know, creating your own hobbies and habits and, you know, having time for yourself again, right? Because we live a lot of times vicariously through our kids. So um, there's a lot of different things going on. So just making sure that we check in with our friends and families um, to see how they're doing. And they may be in the same boat as you and you don't even Mm know. Yeah. Well, this was a very good conversation. I think <laughs> um, it'll be very helpful for all of us and all our, all our followers. Um, I hope it helps um, everyone just take a step back and, and think about what we just spoke about and how we can go about helping ourselves stay connected with our tribe, but understanding the other side as well and, and go from there, not not being stubborn and um, like you said, that ego, um, not letting that ego get in the way is right. is very important. Yep. Yep. Great conversation. Thank you, Jance. Oh, of course. It's always good to chat with you, Liz. Um, and for our followers, if you know, we'd love to hear and see your comments and see how you stay connected to your friends and your tribes. And, you know, if there's any challenges in that, like how how we can help or how others can give tips and ideas on doing that is very important as well. Um, But I hope everyone stays safe and take a step back, breathe. Things are going to be okay. (laughs) Bye guys.